When I first decided to begin the Multicultural Health Institute, I was fortunate enough to be part of the first statewide multicultural health task force in the state of California. We had representatives from the African American community, Latino community, Asian American community, and Native American communities. And we traveled throughout the state conducting inf town halls to gather information as well as disseminating information to the different communities that we visited. From that experience, we were able to translate many of the issues that we learned about into important policy issues that now have resulted in improved cultural and linguistics competency training for providers and entire healthcare systems. In California, you now see things coming in multiple languages. You have interpreting services with certification. I was part of the first uh, statewide uh, health in interpreters associations and helped them with developing standardization um, protocols so that it wasn't just asking somebody's child or somebody's neighbor to come in and help interpret, that it was really neutral and, and using appropriate medical terminology and things like that. We also have done things like develop community health worker programs. One of my favorite ones is the Gatekeepers of Community Health that we developed out of the Silence of Death Initiative. That was a program in Florida where we took a group of lay people and we took them through the official statewide training to become a certified HIV AIDS counselor and tester. By using this type of peer-to-peer -peer model, we were able to greatly improve the penetration into the communities of the high-risk populations to identify HIV positive individuals as well as to prevent the transmission of the disease by sensitizing people to the extent of the problem and getting a much higher uh, proportion of the population tested to know their status and affecting some behavior change in the, in the use of uh, barrier methods and things like that. We also um, were able to develop a STEM uh, program where we took young children through a whole career exposure experience, including field trips and visits from representatives in different science, technology, engineering, and math fields, culminating in uh, perf uh, uh, perf performance um, as it is by the students, as well as creation of different information boards that they shared with other students to continue to share the information about STEM.